Welcome to another FlexiTool sewing video. My name is Graham and today I'm going to be talking about needle and thread pairing. This is the area where new users in particular of the machines have the most problems and even for experienced users you can have extreme frustration when you start to sew very heavy materials and you wonder why you have frayed and broken thread and snap needles. Each machine is generally sold with 10 needles. They are 110 or 18 size needles. What do these sizes mean? 110 means that the needle is 1.1 millimeters wide at the point where the eye of the needle is. 18 is the imperial designation for the needle. 130 means that the needle is 1.3 millimeters wide and 140 means that it's 1.4 millimeters wide. These may appear to be very small differences but they actually translate to large differences in the strength of the needles. I've set this demonstration up with two 110 needles on the outsides and a 130 needle on the left hand inside and a 140 needle on the right hand inside. Well I've done this demonstration with the M designation that serifal threads come with. I have also included what I believe to be the comparable TEX size as well. The M50 is the lightest weight serifal thread that we sell. It is ideally suited to be used in a 110 size needle. For sewing thin veg tanned leather or chamois leather and other harnessing non leather types of materials, your standard 110 needle with this M50 thread is a very strong, very durable combination, and the needle will have no problem driving that thread through and back up again on your material. The M36 is the next heavier gauge and you can see on the close-up that it's a larger thread than the M50 and as a result it's going to use up more of the eye of the needle and as it does so, so the tensions on the thread from friction in particular grow greater but if this is still able to be used without any problem as long as the leather is not too thick. The M20 thread is a much heavier thread and using this with a 110 needle is stressing the needle. I use it and you can use it but you have to be aware of the limitations you cannot use this thread when you have much thicker leather you will have problems with it you will start to notice fraying breaking and you are likely to also have broken needles in those scenarios for interest sake I have actually shown and rigged a M12 thread and you can see that it is extremely thick you can actually force it through the eye of the 110 needle but you will have a lot of problems with this from friction and the fact that the needle is just not strong enough to drive that thickness of thread through most materials just for interest I have laid an M10 thread next to the 110 needle just for a size comparison to give you an idea but this thread will not even fit through the eye of the 110 needle. If you want to sew really thick leather your entry level needle should be your 130 needle and you should be using an M20 thread you can see that the needle shaft is considerably thicker than the 110 needle and 
the M20 thread is still able to pass quite smoothly and easily with a bit of play on the 130 needle which is necessary to avoid friction and heat buildup. Using an M12 thread with a 130 needle you can actually sew quite thick pieces of leather multiple layers of veg tan leather. As you can see as you get in closer there is still some play in the eye of the needle and the big problem of friction and heat is becoming a, an issue with this thread combination but it can actually still be used effectively. I've put this in for comparative purposes. This is an M10 thread with a 130 needle. As you can see the thread which is actually like a small string is probably similar size to the needle eye and while the thread will fit through the needle eye you're going to run into some problems with heat buildup and fraying of the thread from the friction. An M20 thread is very well paired with a 140 needle. This thread needle combination will be able to sew very thick veg tan leather and you can probably sew close to a centimeter being a quarter to three-eighths of an inch of veg tan with this needle and thread combination as long as your machine is set up right for that. This is a very strong needle thread combination. Matching an M12 thread with a 140 needle it can be done. You're starting to stress the tolerances of the needle. As you can see that's a very heavy thread and there is not much space between the thread and the outside of the eye and that will start to lead to friction, heat and fraying and those are your enemies when you sew very heavy materials such as veg tan leather. For interest I have done the M10 thread evaluation with a 140 needle as you can see that M10 which is actually like a small string it is pushing the boundaries of the 140 needle eye you can actually make it fit but it is not an ideal combination and you should be using a larger needle for such a heavy thread size while this video has been to show various workable and unworkable needle thread pairings. My next video will be a hands-on tutorial showing how to sew extremely thick veg tan leather which is the most extreme environment for any thread just because the actual material is so abrasive and hard and harsh on thread and needle alike. And thanks for watching.